Hey guys, I'm Nickelodeon's Jaden Bartels on the set of Clifford the Big Red Dog. And I'm taking you behind the scenes. Let's check it out. Big love in a small house. Blue skies never run out. So who do you play in the movie and how do you meet Clifford? I play Emily Elizabeth and I am Clifford's owner slash best friend and I find him in this really cool animal rescue tent and he's really tiny but then he grows to be really big. Right, right. <laughs> Does this tent seem bigger on the inside? That's ridiculous. It's smaller on the outside. Mr. Purple, how big is he gonna get? Well, that depends, doesn't it? On what? On how much you love him. Soon after that, Clifford manages to find his way into their apartment. What the? Hey, it's you. Please, Uncle Casey, can't you just stay for one night? No, absolutely not. Please. Okay, one night. There's this little dog that turns big when she pours her love into him. How did this happen? How are you? So huge. I mean, it's crazy, but it's great. Clifford the Big Red Dog is really big, really big. He's like a big, huge, giant puppy, bright red, that's gentle. I definitely knew about Clifford. I remember the Scholastic Book Fairs and Clifford being there and circling the books that I want, and I totally remember Clifford and how big he was. Grown-ups grew up on it, kids grew up on it. What we wanted to keep from the books is that Clifford represented unconditional love. Can we pet him? Sure. Well, that means he likes you. <laughs> Now we're hoping to share a slightly different version of Clifford with the rest of the world. The movie has so much magic in it, and I think a lot of people are going to be surprised. Oh. We've been having a lot of fun doing scenes in the apartment where there's a 10-foot dog. We've had Clifford smashing tables, couches getting catapulted in the air. <laughs> Clifford is a super good actor. I felt like this role fits him perfectly. Working with Clifford is fantastic because he's so big and fluffy. I just want to squeeze him and hug him and hold him tight. Clifford, get in the truck. I thought Clifford was very magical, but I did get sneezed on by Clifford. <laughs> Clifford, he's a bit of a mess, oh, no. No, no, which no. is great. Clifford! Oh! He's really funny. He has so much energy. There's a lot of challenges to owning a big 10-foot red dog. Just walking him, if he sees a squirrel or body balls, as you see in the movie, he'll just, like, dart after them, and then you'll be holding the leash, and then you'll get yanked. Oh. The production team had to plan for a dog that stands 10 feet tall. Imagine trying to find doggy accessories for a gigantic dog. The prop department had quite the challenge. Clifford's leash was made out of three human-sized belts. It's been rough chasing after Clifford all day. Let's enjoy the sneak peek of Clifford the Big Red Dog. Is he all right? Yeah, I'm, it, well, he's a, uh, whoo. Are you gonna examine him? Yes, I am, because I'm, I'm a veterinarian. That's what I do, I, I examine animals. Mm. I'm gonna take a look inside your mouth there, buddy. Oh, easy. You wanna maybe tell him? Oh, yeah, Clifford. Good boy. Good job there, buddy. All right, let me take a look uh, there. Cool, 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 yeah. That's the large teeth on the big red dog. Yeah, so why don't we get you on the scale here, bud? But slowly. Oh. It's just a platinum edition of the X9000. Yeah, sorry about that. No problem. I'm just gonna write heavy. Why don't I just listen to his heart? Yes, yes. that, yeah. Let's yeah. do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna listen to your heart now, buddy. Oh. Ew. Clifford, 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 Clifford. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, I, I gotta say, besides being big and red, this dog is healthy as, well, healthy as a horse. Dogs may be a person's best friend, but Clifford's best friends are the cast and crew. Let's see how they're bringing his world to life. Yo, yo, yo! What up, fam? How's my favorite sister? Hey. 
and my favorite little niece. I play Uncle Casey in the movie, um, who's Emily's funkle. Hmm. That means fun uncle. Oh, I love it. Okay. Yeah. And he is very different to me because I'm very serious in real life. And also in the film, he's mm -hmm. American and right. I am. British. Russian. No, Close. you're not. I am. This is a Russian accent. No, you're not. Okay, I'm British. <laughs> Owen is a smart, intelligent little boy. He's a little bit shy because, well, he's a kind of a nerd. It's Owen, right? You know my name? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> and he's even more shy for Emily because he has a crush on her. Mm, wow. So, yeah. Got it. Do you sense any chemistry between me and Emily? Because I sense... Oh, Clifford! Gross! This is what killed the dinosaurs! Can you tell us about your relationship with Clifford? I would say at the beginning of the movie, there's maybe a little bit of animosity. <laughs> but I don't think Clifford listens to anything Casey says. No, 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 stop. Must be these old pipes, huh? What the heck is going on in there? Sometimes it can be a little hard because he's like a giant dog, you know? Right. Working with him has been really cool because I've never worked with a giant red dog before. A new so, experience. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different. Yeah. And his personality is really cool. He's still a puppy, but he's just bigger, so he can be a little wild sometimes. Got you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, my bed! Darby's treating it as a comedy. This is the most dramatic right. work I have ever done. They'll never even know we were here. That would have sounded so much cooler if you weren't holding a SpongeBob flash drive. Shh. Working. I mean, honestly, emotional stuff. It's is very, happening. it's highly emotional stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we love you too, Clifford. If you do a quick search, you can find hundreds of tips for today's pet owner. But what about when your pet is, like, way bigger? Which is why we're bringing you tips for owning a ridiculously huge, larger-than-life dog. Dress for slobber. Dog kisses can be deadly. To your wardrobe. Always flush. Purchase fetch insurance. Buy in bulk. There's no such thing as a light snack. He eats like an animal. He is an animal. I'm talking about him. Well, If you had a big red dog that was 10 feet tall, where would you hide him? That's a very hard question to answer because there's not many places where you could hide a big red dog. Mm -hmm. The only place I would think is either like a garage or mm -hmm. maybe like an empty pool. That's a good idea, wow, yeah. Where would I hide it? I don't know. It'd be hard to hide it from my family, too, though. My dad would be really mad. And yeah. My mom would be a little mad, and my sister would be amazed. But yeah. I might hide him in the garage or something. That's exactly what Owen yeah. said. Yeah. That was super fun, guys. Thanks for hanging. Enjoyed the sneak peek of Clifford the Big Red Dog. No. Oh. Nothing you see here, folks. Just a big red puppy. We're trying to keep this quiet just until we can give him small again. So, shh. This is so cool. You guys got to let me come. This is the kind of education you can't get in a classroom. I've seen TED Talks about this. Sorry, pal. I got enough on my plate keeping one kid alive. There is no way. <laughs> okay. I guess he's coming with. Don't you dare. Clifford, no, no fetch. No fetch! Clifford! Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. Bad doggy? No! no. Please, no! Clifford, no! <laughs> How has he not popped that yet? Ah, there we are. Clifford, put him down. Drop the ball. Clifford, drop it. Oh, good. Unbelievable. Good boy. No, bad boy. Furry bad boy. You can ask your parents to subscribe to the Nick Jr. YouTube channel for new videos every day. And find more of your favorite shows on TV on Nickelodeon and the Nick Jr. channel.